starting with the greatest name of Almighty Allah, who is the most merciful, gracious, beneficial, and the creator of all universe. So, guys, today we are going to start a new topic named kinds of uh, thought. This is the sixth lecture concerned to the subject of thought. So, we will also work on the rest of the topics of thought, and the list of contents will be changing according to the need of topic. So here are the kinds of thought. There are three kinds of thought. First is malfeasance. There's a person, it's a person, for example, a person who commits thought that is called thought feasance, which I uh, told you before in the previous lectures. So now here's the malfeasance, which is the first kind of a thought. Malfeasance means unlawful commission of any act. Act which is illegal and causes physical or financial harm to another individual. It can be means financial harm or the physical harm intentionally. This is called the malfeasance. Malfeasance is an intentional act. In the malfeasance, defendant can be sued for monetary damages. You know better than what's monetary. Monetary means consent to the money. But consent to the money, so the defendant can be sued for the monetary damages, whatever the damages is suffered by the plaintiff through defendant, means a tort fever. The person has the knowledge that the act which is being committed exceeds the authority of the person doing the act. Means here a person who is committing the malfeasance, he is exceeding his own jurisdiction, he is going away from that or he is not doing the same. For example, uh, a person uh, had a duty that <coughs> he had to, he must not uh, have to ignore the any ignore any unlawful act which is which is being committed in front of him. Now suppose if he ignores that unlawful act, <coughs> unlawful act, then it means that he is now exceeding the authority of his duty. It means the commission of an unlawful act in. What we can say in malfeasance, the, the unlawful acts are committed while in the uh, next essentials we will know that there can be no omissions also but in the malfeasance there is commission of an unlawful act. For example, when a politician embezzles, embezzles means steal money, steals money. When a politician embezzles money, this is an example of malfeasance. Here a politician exceeds his jurisdiction, exceeds his limit. He steals the money, which is an unlawful act intentionally. So this is called malfeasance in thought. <clears throat> now the second one is misfeasance, negligence. Misfeasance simply means negligence. When a person neglects someone or he is not um, doing such a care which he was bound to do, it means the improper performance of some lawful act. Means he was obliged to the proper act, pro proper performance, but he is not doing such and doing the improper performance of the lawful act means the act is lawful but he is doing the same improperly so this is called misfeasance negligence sometimes an act of a person causes harm to other people unintentionally the, the major difference between malfeasance and the misfeasance is that in misfeasance there is no any intention this is unintentional but just there is negligence, there is no such a care which was supposed to do or which was obliged to do. Attached to the mistakes, misfeasance is a legal term <coughs> used for an act which is not illegal. Mis act is not Ill illegal, misfeasance is a legal term but per performed in such a way that it harms other people. So this is called misfeasance. Generally, defendants are held liable as they don't care. Here, in this case, the defendants are also held liable like malfeasance because they are not taking doing such a care. And legal act performed in improper way. This act is legal but performed in improper way. It means improper performance of lawful act, negligence. For example, an example of misfeasance could include a public official, for example, there is a public official hiring his or her sister without realizing that it would be against the law to hire a family member. For example, if he hires any 
I mean, since his sister or his daughter, and he's known that the, the hiring the family member is unlawful. This is not lawful, but he is not known about that. So this is called the misfeasance. When so here in this case, he is negligent of a law, and the the act is lawful. Which act that he can hire? He can hiring is act I means lawful, but hiring his or her own family members is un unlawful, and that's improper act done by the public official. Now let's move toward the non-feasance. The third non-feasance simply means commission, <coughs> and malfeasance means. Sorry, malfeasance means commission and non-feasance means omission. When a person omits, not performing any duty, he is not performing any duty, not improperly or unintentionally. He is not performing any duty. Omission from discharge, discharging duty. This is mostly in the social cases. How social cases we will come to know. Failure to do any act that causes harm to another person. <coughs> the intentional failure to perform a required duty or obligation if here is a failure to perform a required duty the duty was required but socially i will i will make you clear in the example in shahzad how the duty is socially here <coughs> originally the failure to take affirmative steps to prevent harm did not create liability affirmative steps to prevent harm did not create liability and this rule was absolute over the years courts have recognized a number of situations in which a person who does not create a dangerous situation must never does act to prevent harm and this is simply say that mostly the courts now have established have recognized that those people who haven't performed any unlawful act any they ha they haven't created any dangerous situation they are never they are never obliged to prevent that harm is if they haven't created that harm then why they are obliged so according to course they are not obliged to prevent that harm or to help the people those who are in that harm okay how now let's take an example if a bystander means a person who is standing at somewhere else if a bystander sees a stranger drowning means a person who is drowning in a water a stranger drowning and does not attempt to rescue is not helping him or, or calling any other people any other swimmers to to do the rescue to take the rescue he cannot be liable here in this known feasance there is no any liability but in the both previous kinds there were the liabilities he cannot be liable for known feasance because he had no pre existing relationship with the drowning person so firstly there was no any relationship and besides it uh, the harm the dangerous situation was not created by him actually so here in this case the what we can say there is an intention that he is not helping but the but the main thing is that he hasn't created that, that dangerous situation now let's take a illustration concerned to all three kinds a company hires a catering company for providing food and drinks in drinks in a retirement party if the catering company does not come doesn't come then it is considered as non feasance means companies now have how the here the companies obliged to come at the party but it, it isn't coming it is called non feasance it is it is omitting the act omitting the duty now if the company provides only food and does not provide drink then it is a misfeasance when when it, it 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 is not taking care or it is negligent of something here the company is providing food not drinks then if it accepts bribe from somebody bribe is unlawful if it accepts bribe from somebody to provide poisonous food then it is called as malfeasance so here the guys topic ends thanks khuda hafiz stay tuned don't forget to subscribe like and give us view watch yours thank you khuda hafiz stay safe